Hello friends, this is Asrar. In this session, we will discuss about list view control in ASP.NET. So first, I am going to create the list view from the text box. So just right click or double click on in it. I have double click on it. And between the list view, I am going to create a list item template. There are several templates. So just I am selecting the item template so that the data should be list view in the between the list item under the list item I'm going to create a div tag and in the div tag I'm going to create a table format so the alignment should be perfect so just I have created the CSS class for the outlook so just I'm going to create a class as a list and in the table I have I'm going to just create the three rows and contain the only one column as the first column mentioning has image and the second column for the heading and third column for the paragraph which is the block description. I'm just going to create the the list view has a block. So just look out this I am in my database I'm just having a one block table under the block tables I am just having a block head, block description and block image so just I am going to repeat it as a list view so look out this table I am having a five fields as a heading 1, heading 2, heading 3 and heading 4 so just I am going to create it as a, first of all I am going to create as a image so image src and the path is coming from the database here look out images one image one so the path so just I'm retrieving from it is evaluation has eval and just mentioning has the path name which is the field of the table blocks table blog image blog underscore image and after that I'm going to create the heading tag as H1 under the heading tag I'm going to create an evaluation calling the path from the data list double quote block head after that I'm going to create a that column has a that row that column has a pure paragraph tag so just inside the paragraph tag I'm going to call the field as blog description description okay after that I'm just going to connect the database in the back end of my ASP Luxor weave code under the weave code I'm just going to create a connection string SQL data adapter naming the variable has SDA new SDA and just closing it with double quotation and just going to create that connection string with properties and just copying the connection string from the properties and just pasting it after pasting, I'm just going to create the SQL query as, as a SQL data adapter. No, no, no. Oops. First of all, I'm going to create the connection as a SQL connection. Con a equal to new connection. I'm simply cut it and I'm going to paste it in the okay just closing and in the SQL data adapter I'm going to write the simple query as a select star select all from the blocks and simply giving the connection to the query and creating the data table and a new data table which is going to fill the data in the data table so sda.fill 
and let's hit e which is the data table and after that I'm going to retrieve the data and bounding it in the list view list view dot data source equal to gt and after the list binding the list view I'm just going to create the list view dot data bind okay after giving it just I'm saving and verifying it I have given the under the list item I have created item template under the item template I have created div tag and the div tag I have created table in the table there are three rows and containing the one column has image and header tag and paragraphs so after saving it I'm just going to run this I have got this with the the list view has perfect alignment as I expected. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good